looking into a puddle sees dirt in it. The other, stars reflected in it. An evil person cannot be happy, for being alone with himself, he remains alone with the villain. Death is most afraid of those people whose life has the greatest value. Act only according to that maxim by which you can, at the same time, that it should become a universal law. Give a person everything that he desires, and at the same moment, he will feel that this is not everything. If you punish a child for what is bad, and reward for what is good, then he will do good for the sake of profit. The busier we are, the more acutely we feel that we live, the more conscious we are of life. Out of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing was ever made. The freedom to wave your arms ends at the tip of the other person's nose. Character is the ability to act according to principles. If a man makes himself a worm, he must not complain when he is trodden on. Do not treat others as a way to achieve your own goals. Whoever has given up excesses has gotten rid of hardships. Sometimes we have to deny knowledge in order to make room for faith. A person rarely thinks about darkness and the light, about trouble and happiness and contentment, about suffering and, conversely, always thinks about light and the darkness about happiness in the trouble, about prosperity in poverty. The reading of all good books is like a conversation with the finest minds of past centuries. Women make even the men more sophisticated. Have the courage to use your own mind Think your own thoughts, and live your own life. All the interests of my reason, speculative as well as practical, combine in the three following questions. 1. What can I know? 2. What ought I to do? 3. What may I hope? Man is the only being who needs education. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. Only he who, himself enlightened, is not afraid of shadows. All our knowledge begins with the senses, proceeds then to the understanding and ends with reason. There is nothing higher than reason. Dare to think. Have the courage to use your own intelligence. Marriage is the union of two people of different sexes with a view to the mutual possession of each other's sexual attributes for the duration of their lives. The death of dogma is the birth of reality. Rules for happiness. Something to do. Someone to love. Something to hope for. The 
cheerful expression on the face will gradually be reflected in the inner world. Smile. The ability to ask reasonable questions is a sign of intelligence and discernment. Happiness is not an ideal of reason, but of imagination. Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. A person can become a person only through education. Every person is what education made him. Humanity is the ability to participate in the fate of other people. The destiny of a woman is to rule. The destiny of a man is to reign. Because passion rules and the mind reigns. It is not thoughts that need to be taught, but thinking. The more habits, the less freedom. The life of people devoted only to pleasure without a reason and without morality has no value. A man is jealous when he loves, a woman even when she does not love, because the admirers won by other women disappear from the circle of her admirers. What is beautiful is what you like regardless of the meaning. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is an organized life. You should not fear being refuted. You should fear something else. To be incomprehensible. He who fearfully cares about how not to lose his life will never rejoice in this life. Children should be brought up not for the present, but for the future perhaps a better state of the family. Genius is the ability to independently arrive at and understand concepts that would normally have to be taught by another person. Space and time are the framework within which the mind is constrained to construct its experience of reality. Thoughts without content are empty. Intuitions without concepts are blind. Man must be disciplined, for he is by nature raw and wild. There is something splendid about innocence, but what is bad about it, in turn, is that it cannot protect itself very well and is easily seduced. Enlightenment is man's emergence from his self-incurred immaturity. Nothing is divine but what is agreeable to reason. He who is cruel to animals becomes hard also in his dealings with men. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. Without man and his potential for moral progress, the whole of reality would be a mere wilderness, a thing in vain, and have no final purpose. Two things fill my mind with ever-increasing wonder and awe. The more often and the more intensely the reflection dwells on them, the starry heavens above me and the moral law within me. A wise man can change his mind, a fool never.
Only the descent into the hell of self-knowledge can pave the way to godliness. An action to have moral worth must be done from duty. To be is to do. If you still have a desire for sex after 40, it means that there is still so much life left to be lived. Simply to acquiesce in skepticism can never suffice to overcome the restlessness of reason. For peace to reign on Earth, humans must evolve into new beings who have learned to see the whole first. Morality is not the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but how we make ourselves worthy of happiness. Beauty presents an indeterminate concept of understanding, the sublime and indeterminate concept of reason. <laughs>